All right, so we've been in the, the technology industry fixing phones for the last 15 years, and it's been, it's been incredible. Uh, and we still do a lot of repairs. It's 90% of our business. But um, as things start to slow down maybe a little bit, um, there's other opportunities out there, and there's other avenues you can go. And so one of the biggest things that we're pushing super hard right now is buying back electronics. This is such an incredible opportunity. This could be B2C, B2B. Uh, there's so many different opportunities. So when we talk about the B2, B2C opportunity, uh, we talk about a customer walking in, wanting to sell maybe an iPad, maybe a Bluetooth speaker, maybe uh, some headphones, and, and that's a one-on-one -on -one and, how, and how to price them and go through those certain things. So on our techie company website, we actually have a buyback price. It's already set. It's scraped from all these different uh, websites. And so it's very up to date. And this allows us to give us like a foundation of where the prices need to be. So when a customer comes in and wants to sell just these Bose uh, headphones here, we're able to go back, we're able to go to our site and give them an accurate quote. And there's going to also be four different steps on how to purchase this particular product based off the quality that, it, that it's coming in at. So that's just B2C. B to on the buybacks. Now there's also B2B where you go out schools, um, where you name it, cruise lines, uh, rental car places. They, they all have iPads, computers like this, and now you can buy it in bulk. And you're talking four or five hundred phones maybe you buy. So we have an account with a government entity and we bought back just this year alone over 2,000 devices. And that might seem like hectic for you. Like, I don't even know how to do that. I don't know how to vet that. I don't know how to go through those processes. So what we do, we, we can't do, you can't buy 50 to 100 devices at one store if you're at a one store shop. But what you can do is partner up with Techie as we partner up with people that have the capability to vet and go through all these 500 devices or even 50 devices and be able to, to run them through the processes and even turn around and sell them to different uh, entities or, or even different countries. And so you can make a quick buck off of that too as well. So the whole point of this is you should be buying back anything with a button. Bring those customers through the door. It's another app opportunity to, to, sell, to sell more devices and, and to, to make more money. So say a customer walks in and they have a phone and they're like looking maybe to upgrade. Well, buy their phone back, give them a credit towards the new phone. And that's on the B2C side. So it's just something to think about when you're trying to grow your brand. You should be buying back anything with a button because even this right here, uh, this is, these are the uh, Raycons, super popular Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we, bought the, we bought this back for four bucks. And now we're going to turn around and sell it for 25. And, and so those are opportunities that you're passing just because uh, you don't want to purchase that, that stuff back. It's, it's headphones. I mean, even these devices. This is a perfect example. We pay 150 bucks for this device right here. It didn't have the, the, the foams inside of it, but we can get the foams for 20. We turn around and sell this for $295. Think about the profitability that you have right there. Or if you don't want to purchase it, there's people out there that will purchase it. So bring in those buybacks, whatever it may be, anything with a button, any kind of electronic device, bring it on in. Maybe you don't have a website like we do. You can, you can use our website and piggyback off the site if you like and, and get your prices because at the end of the day, you're going to make money based off those prices and you can turn around and sell or flip those devices to anybody, even Techie. If you don't want to buy the device for your store, maybe you don't want to buy this. Reach out to Techie. We'll buy it. We'll be glad to purchase it and give you 10%, maybe even over top of what our website shows. So you can make money just by grabbing the consumer and having them come through the door. So buyback is super strong right now. Talk about how easy it is to sell the devices and how we are selling devices. <clears throat> yeah, and so like, let's, let's, let's talk about, so that's the buyback side of it, and now it, it makes it even easier for us to sell the devices too as well. So now what ends up happening, because where you make your money, when, if you're selling a MacBook at your, at your store, which you should be, or an iPad, or a phone, or a Bluetooth speaker, or whatever it may be, if you're selling these devices, the way, where you make your money is not selling them, it's buying them back. So let me give you a perfect example. This right here we bought for 300 bucks. We're gonna turn around and sell it for 699. We made the money based off of what we paid the consumer. 
So think about that and why it's so important that you should be purchasing these devices. This iPad right here, we purchased for 25 bucks. We're gonna sell for 199. So buying back that product is where we're making a lot of money and we're turning around and flipping them inside the stores. Or if you, don't, if you can't move them inside your store for some particular reason, sell them to us, we'll be glad to purchase them from you. So the buyback industry is huge. It's only getting bigger. It's, and it, it's such a plus for your store too as well because you're talking about recycling. Now you can advertise that you're, you're, you're helping the, the planet because you're recycling. A lot of companies out there, especially the B2B companies, they grab their 500 devices, they pay people to recycle them. No, what we do is we pay them to buy back their devices. So that relationship's huge. And then we protect the planet and keep resurfacing these products. So it's something to think about when you go to do some marketing on it too as well. So that's a little bit about buyback. There's a lot more to talk about when it comes to buyback, but you should be doing B2C buybacks and B2B when it comes to any electronic device with a button. And I hope that helps. That's Tech University.